There are three analysis tabs in the Eigensolver analysis window, modal, frequency, and overlap analysis. We will go through each of these in detail, starting with the modal analysis tab. Once the modes are calculated, they're listed in the mode list. The modes are arranged in descending order in terms of the real part of the effective index. In this specific example, we're looking at the modes of a silicon waveguide on a silica substrate. If you look at mode 1 and 2, the fields are concentrated in or around the silicon region. On the other hand, the third and higher order modes have a broad field distribution in the low index silica region. These are not actually physical modes. They're a result of our choice to use metal boundaries in this simulation. The effective indices of these modes are lower than 1.444 for silica, which is the lowest index material where the modes are residing. Another indication that the modes are not real. So from the investigation of the mode list, you can conclude that this waveguide supports only two modes, 1TE and 1TM. After finding modes, click on the desired mode in the mode list to plot it in the plot area. The default plot is modal fields. You can visualize the amplitude, phase, real and imaginary part of the field where applicable. You can also choose to plot a specific component of the fields. If you select cylindrical coordinate, available field components will also be changed accordingly. You can plot the mode data in linear or log scale. Plotting the field in log scale can sometimes be useful to get a rough picture of how far the mode is spreading out and to adjust the simulation spans appropriately. If you want to add or remove the outline of your structures, use the superimpose structure option. For a wider choice of settings for the plot, use the plot in new window option. Also note that you can right-click on the modes in the Data Analysis group under FDE and visualize the mode data. To calculate the modes of a bent waveguide, select the Bent Waveguide option and specify the bend radius and the orientation. For this calculation, the FDE solver considers the boundaries as part of the simulation region, and the center of the simulation region is defined accordingly. As the bend radius is defined as the distance between the axis of rotation and the center of the simulation region, you need to use a bend radius that is equal or larger than half the simulation region. If you use a bend radius that is smaller than half the simulation span, the solver will use half the simulation span as its bend radius. The modal analysis tab also provides power and impedance integration, far field settings, and data export. The power and impedance integration option allows you to spatially integrate the electric field intensity or power. It can also calculate the characteristic impedance of a waveguide by integrating the magnetic field along the path that you specify in the GUI. Note that you can do the integration on the near field as well as the far field. The far field setting option allows you to specify the far field projection setting for the far field plot. Data export allows export to text file, MATLAB file, and numerical data file. You can select data to export, effective index, material properties, modes, or far field, and click on the export button.